Hey there YouTube, Superbrain AK here, and check it out. I built the thing and this is going to be the thing. This guy has arrived, finally, 21st, five days after it was supposed to be here, like the latest it was supposed to be here. I mean, the problem was, he. I had asked if you can put a battery on it without blowing it up, and they said, nope, do you still want it? So that is probably what held it up, but still, it took a long time. But anyway, he's not quite the subject for this video. He will come very shortly. However, in preparation for having an awesome boost converter, I did this. <laughs> I've got the, uh, let's see, this 30V12A. DPS 3012 with its little module here. This guy is a 50V5A or 5005. Yeah. And this is the DP 30V5A. And this is my 150 watt load. There. And they're all mounted on a piece of board. And I sort of made an oops, and not a UPS, an actual oops. <laughs> As you can see, that's pretty loose. Mainly because, well, I don't have long enough screws to tighten them down, so I had to countersink them, drilling the hole out and putting the screw in that way. And the other problem is, I measured for this screw, not this screw. I use this to calibrate, but not this screw. This one's longer. I have eight of these, one of these. Oops. So they're a little bit, little bit wobbly. I'm probably going to end up um, filling these with Elmer's glue and doing something like that and maybe seeing if they'll stay okay like that and then I should be able to get those out after it's hardened and whatnot. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Unless I just find more of these and then that should work. Except for one, I think one of them's really small. This one right here, I think. But anyway, yeah. So I might put this guy right here. And then I'd take this and go ba boom onto there with my uh, 12 volt. 550 watt and I kind of lied 50 amp power supply that's what it'll trip at you can only do like 44 and a half anyway but yep there we go and then uh, this battery holder is going to sit here so that way that'll work perfectly with this guy. Then I can discharge batteries. And then on this right side here, I'll probably have my Tenergy, or I might just get a new, a much higher quality charger. What um, hobby charger do you guys think I should get next instead of a cheap Chinese Tenergy? And then I'm going to have my Lito Kala, which is an 18650 charger, discharger, sitting here. And I'll probably have like a little fan in the in between them so I can get some airflow. But yeah, 
Ah, oh, crap. Because these are friction fit. It's cracking the board. That sucks. But uh, yeah, here's the back of it a little better. So I'm going to wire everything up. Have some decent wires out. Probably only like 16 gauge. Because, well, it's only 5 amps. This guy will be probably something different. I might use um, 14 gauge for that or something. But yeah. And then. Blam! I have no clue how that's gonna work. I might just cut like a hole for the fan, and then I'll have to get different standoffs because the standoffs go. They brings it up to here, so I might cut a hole for the fan and just like glue the fan in or something, something silly like that unsecured in instead of drilling and tap drilling and countersinking and whatnot the screws that'd be a lot easier so yeah oh, let's get on to testing this baby wait did you were you even able to see that because the camera's on the wrong side there it goes up to there so it holds it off the board and I want it sunken down to like that so it's about like half the size that this standoff is that came with it so yeah I'll probably just glue the fan in let's get to testing this bad boy what do you think super cap or 12 volt or both. Hmm. Maybe.